I'm gonna talk here about setting priorities during the wedding. If you know exactly what it is that you're shooting and what you're looking for, it's gonna make the day easier and not only are you going to feel much more confident in what you're capturing, but you're going to have to work and capture a lot less because you're not going to be wasting time capturing things that will never be appreciated or used in the highlight video. The key here is shooting for emotion. We're not looking for staged looking poses or objects unless it's part of the story and involved in something else. So for the most part, we don't want shots of the bride looking into the camera or other bridal party members looking into the camera except during the photo session where, in which case we'll ask them to look in the camera. But during the getting ready process, we want the video to feel as though the camera is not there, which is why we're not going to ask them to look at the camera. We want to look for little unique moments rather than family posing. So when the families are posing, I tend to not record as a first shooter because it just looks staged and it's not interesting. But for example, when the people are switching positions and chatting amongst each other after the photos, those are the moments that I want to capture. And so I'm going to start recording when people are moving around, not when they're already posed and smiling towards the photographer. We don't really care about filming objects unless they're being used or moved in somehow. So I don't want to be getting shots of rings on tables. I want to be getting shots of a bride playing with the ring that's already on her hand, or maybe a bridesmaid placing jewelry on her ear. We want motion involved in all of our shots because they make for much more interesting shots and help move the story much more effectively. 